Hey guys, Nick here with LB Altimeters. In this video, we'll be reviewing the basic functions and settings of your Solo 2 audible altimeter. To power on the device, press and hold any button until the device beeps and then release the button. The Solo will perform a self-test and beep three times to indicate it's ready to go. To set or view your warning altitudes, you will need to perform the standard access sequence. Start with a single press and release of the center button. When the access LED lights up, press and hold the center button. When the LED lights up a second time, release the button. At this point, the device will display your three pre-selected warning altitudes. To change the warning altitudes, press the center select button and the highest selected altitude will begin to flash. Use the up and down arrow buttons to adjust the desired altitude at increments of 500 feet. Pressing the select button again will then set that altitude and move on to the next warning altitude. Repeat this process for the remaining two warning altitudes. After setting the altitudes, pressing the select button again will cause the off button to flash. At this point, pressing and holding both arrow buttons will cause the device to count down and power off. But if you're planning on jumping this thing, don't do that. At any point while in the settings, 10 seconds of inactivity will automatically exit the settings and return the device to the ready mode. For an example on how to use the three warning altitudes, many jumpers set the highest warning as their breakoff altitude, the middle warning as their deployment altitude, and the lowest warning as their decision altitude. To hear how the alerts will sound in freefall, at any point while in the settings, press and hold the center button until you hear the first alert. All three alert tones will play from the highest warning altitude to the lowest warning altitude. Pro tip! If you've started sounding off your alarms on accident, like in the packing room or in the airplane, and everyone's looking at you because you're making a bunch of obnoxious noise, pressing the up or down arrow will stop the alarms. While helmet audible pockets differ greatly across the board, when inserting your audible altimeter into your helmet, ensure that the speaker is facing towards your ear for optimal performance. On the climb to altitude, at 1,000 feet, your Solo 2 will beep to indicate that it's properly calibrated. The number of beeps also indicates your highest selected warning altitude. For example, five beeps indicates an altitude of 5,000 feet. Five beeps, a pause, and then another beep indicates 5,500 feet. If you hear another five fast-paced beeps after your warning altitude, this is an indication that your device has a low battery. Once you're done jumping for the day, there's no need to physically turn off your device. The Solo 2 is designed to remain powered on and in ready mode. With this type of usage, most jumpers can expect to get approximately two years or 500 jumps before changing the batteries. If you'd like to learn more about the maintenance of your Solo 2, click this video here. For more information about the Solo 2 or other LB products, visit lbaltimeters.com.